what's going on people of YouTube? It's your boy M League on the Films here to give you guys my top eight reasons why I got the iPhone 11. Now, honestly, I never really do a video like this. This is actually kind of like my first time doing a video like this, simply because the iPhone 11 is looking kind of interesting and I wasn't planning on picking this bad boy up at first in the, in the beginning. You know, it's kind of like that boyfriend or girlfriend that you never was planning on being with. You thought for sure they wasn't your type until you kind of got to know them little by little. And as you got to know them, you couldn't help but like every single thing you got to know. You know, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with my eight reasons why I got the iPhone 11, which is on its way right now. But I'm showing you guys some B-roll, which I also might pop up some other people's video because the video on this bad boy, we're going to get to that in a moment. So none of these are in any particular order. I just wrote them down. I'm just going to read them as I wrote them. And the first one could be pretty much the only thing I have to say. That can be the whole video right there. And that's the whole fact that my current iPhone is two to three generations behind. I got the iPhone 8, not even the 8 plus, just the 8, you know. So that alone right there is a reason to upgrade to the iPhone 11. Like that's a no brainer. All the videos that people, people have been making on YouTube talking about should you upgrade from the 10 to the 11. So it's a no brainer when you're at the eight to upgrade to the 11. But me personally, I like to stay a generation behind for a number of reasons because I like to let everybody else be the guinea pig. And then by the time the, the next phone about to get ready to come out and get announced, I end up getting that last phone that just came out just a year ago for damn near half the price or even less than that. So, you know, when you're patient, you get the best deals. When you always feel like you gotta have the best things right away, that's when you pay the most money. So I didn't even watch any press conference about the iPhone 11. I didn't watch anything covering the iPhone 11. I didn't even know it got announced. I didn't even see any commercials, no nothing. I didn't care. My whole plan was to get the iPhone 10 uh, Max or whatever it's called, 10 Plus. And then after that, my next phone would be the 11. But while browsing the internet, I seen the iPhone 11. I'm like, I thought it was a joke. I seen three camera lenses, I'm like, that's goofy, that can't be real. Like, that gotta be somebody making an ad joke about the new iPhone. And then I seen another iPhone with two lenses. So that kind of confused me. So when I went to go order, I ended up ordering the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Pro Max, like I thought I had ordered, because I seen the three lenses. I was thinking that, okay, the, the Max one is the only one that has three lenses, but I was wrong. You have the Pro Max, which have three lenses. You have the Pro, which have three lenses. And then you have the iPhone 11, which only has two lenses. So, kind of was confused at first. Plus my current phone is cracked on the front and back, you know, so I'm gonna use my insurance to get that fixed. And my contract is about to be up with Verizon like in three, four more months. So, you know, it's a no brainer at this point. All right, so speaking of three cameras, that's my next thing to, my next thing to talk about, the three cameras in the back. Uh, it's gonna be good for my vlogging. I'm bringing my vlogging back uh, starting uh, October, what I might as well say this month by the time you're watching this video. It's gonna be amazing for B-roll, grabbing behind the scenes stuff. I'm always grabbing B-roll, BTS, to put on my uh, Instagram and stuff like that, sometimes Facebook and, and every once in a while YouTube. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be real good for that. And then to piggyback off of what I was talking about, uh, in the beginning, as far as the quality, you have the 4K, you know, picture quality for the front facing camera, which I don't really feel like phones output true 4K. So to me, it's high resolution. It's not 4K in my eyes. And then on top of 4K, you get 60 frames per second. And then you also get 1080p, 120 frames per second for slow motion and things of that nature. And when it comes to dynamic range, it rivals cameras like the C100 Mark II, which I'm using right now, which is, you know, known for having real good dynamic range and other uh, cinema cameras with high dynamic range. And what that is for people that don't know that lingo as far as film and videography. So basically, it gives you all the details in the bright areas, the shadows, and the mid-tones without sacrificing too much inside one aspect. So if you're taking a selfie, for example, and you got the sky in the background, clouds, building, people, signage, and yourself. So what it does is takes the image and it adjusts the brightness based upon what it sees and makes everything properly exposed without anything being too dark or too bright. That's what dynamic range is. and. Um, yeah, this camera does some type of trickery. I don't know what the hell Apple did and what even people say inside their videos and from what I watch from people's video, you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. Like there's a video, I'm gonna pop it up. I had to rewind this video literally five times because I kept on forgetting what I was watching. You know, I kept forgetting I'm watching, you know, a video of the iPhone 11 trying to see the video quality. Basically, that's how good it looked. I kept forgetting what I was watching the video for because it was looking so good that I've 
forgot that I'm watching the video and that it was iPhone footage, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. See, normally on phones, it looks good on a phone, looks good on a small screen, but when you put it on a realistic screen, like a, you know, 65 inch TV or 40, 42 inch, that's when iPhone footage start to fall apart, even pictures and everything, because it's not meant to be blown up and all the pixels to be stretched out on something that's, you know, more realistic. But when it comes to the phone, this quality inside this phone, man, it's crazy. So with the new iPhone, not only do you get amazing quality, those three lenses, you know, you get that 14 millimeter super wide angle, you get the regular, I think it's what, 24 millimeter, which is the regular focal length, and then you get that uh, super zoom, or not super zoom, but it's like 50, millim 50 millimeter equivalent. You know, it gives you a little bit of boost forward, and I kind of lately, the last past, what, five months, as I've been taking pictures, at times I've been noticing I've been wanting to get a little bit closer, but given my situation, I, I wasn't able to move closer. I won't see myself using it that much, but as far as the regular focal length and the super wide, most definitely I'll be getting some creative stuff with that and just some, you know, real cool video and everything like that, so I can't wait. And then at number three is a concrete drop test I watched on YouTube, you know, and that blew me away. So the guy, what he did was he was dropping the phone from different heights, both uh, versions of the phone, the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the 11 Pro. He was dropping them from different uh, heights or whatever because, you know, the glass is known and advertised to be some of the strongest glass you can find on the phone. So so inside the drop test, when he dropped it from waist, waist height and shoulder height, I kind of figured that it was going to pass. I felt like it was going to have some type of marks on it, but it was going to pass uh, ultimately. But when he did it, it passed with firing, flying colors, you know, and that alone was good enough for me. He didn't just drop it from one height and then went to the next height. He dropped them from three different angles, from the side, front, and then back, and then went to the next height. The phones did not crack at all until this dude stood on top of a ladder and held his, held his hand up in the air and then dropped them down. That's what it took for these phones to finally crack, you know? And who's gonna drop their phone from top of a ladder, you know, multiple times? It took him for him to drop it like two times turning them different angles on top of the ladder for it to finally crack, you know? So that alone, any other phone on the planet would have already cracked from just shoulder height. People talk stuff about iPhones, oh, they finally coming out with this, we've been had this. Okay, but patience. When you have patience, you're able to come out and do things correctly. Watch everybody else do things, you know what I'm saying? That's how I am, I'm a sniper. You know, when I play football, I was a free safety. I like to watch and pay attention to how people do things. I'm very observant. So, when I finally do it, I'm not copying nobody. I'm just doing it the best way I can based off of mistakes that other people made or things I can capitalize on and make it better in my aspect of doing it. And number four, the color. You know, um, that's another thing that kind of warmed up on me. I was gonna go with my, uh, my normal black color, you know, um, but that green, I don't know what it is about that. And everybody was saying it too. Like, you know, I, I was hoping that a lot of people didn't like the green color. Like, I don't like everybody liking the same thing I like. So the way they did that color is amazing. The way it's like dark and it's like the way you have it inside the light, it kind of like looks a certain type of, man, they did a good job with the way they do their little colors and stuff like that. Next up at number five, this is a big one. Anybody that has the, had the iPhone 8, I don't know if the 10 had this issue, but um, texture back. Now this phone has, texture on the back it's not all super glossy i know i'm not the only person where i have my phone set down on something and this is the reason why it's cracked it's my first phone i ever had in my life where it's been cracked this long you know and it's been cracked this badly um i've had my phone sitting down on a flat surface only the corner of it sticking off the surface literally only the corner i wish i had video of this and i literally watch my phone slide itself off the damn surface like there's no way in the world something should be that damn smooth. I even showed my son. I thought I was tripping. I said, "Watch this." I set the I set the phone down. And as soon as you set it down, you can feel it like glide a little bit. Next up, even though other iPhones has been water resistant and waterproof to a certain extent, this phone is also waterproof, and that's another thing I got on at number six, uh, up to three meters, and. That's gonna come in handy. Going to water parks is just simply, you know, out at the beach or something like that. Get a little bit of splash, or you're taking pictures. Something splash on you, a little bit of water splash up. Hey, no issues whatsoever. Boom, wipe it on off and continue going on about your business. So that's that number six, waterproof, the water resistant. Number seven, battery life. You know, you get four hours more and they talking about how much hours you get over the 10. I'm coming from the eight. So imagine how much I'm gonna feel. That's another reason why I stay a generation behind. So when I do finally upgrade, it feels like a natural, like a big ass difference, like a huge difference. Lastly, at number eight, 
people's genuine reaction to the phone inside their videos. Like I never watch, it's been a long time since I watched a product come out and people all have the same reaction, all saying the same exact thing. And it's not them being a fanboy, it's not them hopping on a bandwagon, it's them literally being surprised like, wow, this phone is blowing me away. If you plan on getting it, get, get it because it's amazing. Like these are people, even some people had even mentioned inside their video like, oh, I don't really even give phones that much props and stuff like that, but this phone is amazing. So that's gonna end my video. I might also put a first impressions video clip inside this video clip as well, giving you guys just my first thoughts of just how the phone feels. I heard that it's a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, a little bit, which I don't mind. You know, got a little bit of heft to it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're new, thumbs up. If you're a regular, well, if you're new, subscribe. If you're a regular, thumbs up. And thank you guys for watching. Your boy, Emily, and I'm out. Peace.